Here's a sneak peek of the projects in today's video. They all turned out so cute and I can't wait to show y'all. So let's get started. My name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I saw all of the cute bird nests up at Hobby Lobby and stuff and I thought, I think I can make one. So I took this mini grapevine wreath that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They were at least 75% off and they came in a pack and I want to say there was like four or five of them. Anyways, I traced out a circle out of cardboard using the paint container lid as a guide so I can have that as a base for my nest. And y'all know I can't stand glitter and Dollar Tree insists on putting at least some glitter on almost everything they make. So I wanted these to look more like blue speckled eggs. So I put an egg on a bamboo skewer in order to give them a coat of folk art paint in the color Adirondack. And after painting, I just stick them in my paintbrush container to dry. I don't study birds or anything like that, but I was trying to make this look more realistic than the ones I saw in the store. So I put some hot glue on the edge of the cardboard circle and then I placed the mini grapevine wreath on top of that. And then I added a bunch of hot glue in the center of the nest and added some Spanish moss. It's messy, but you know, looks cute. I also added a bit of reindeer moss to give it some color and texture variation. Here's a pro tip for you. If you like to wear latex gloves to protect your hands or your manicure when you paint, if you put some baby powder on your hands before putting on the gloves, they go on smooth like butter. Anyway, I'm using this blue color. I believe it's Blue Lagoon. And originally I was going to splatter paint the eggs to make them look like, you know, more speckled. But y'all, this was getting everywhere and I mean everywhere. <laughs> and it seemed to hardly be getting any on the eggs. So I just used the chippy brush and kind of dabbed and half painted it on to try to give it the look I was going for. Next, I just glued the eggs inside the nest and I ended up only using four of the eggs. They were all going everywhere. I think I read that like robins only lay like four or five eggs. Anyway, who knows? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And this is how it turned out. This little mini nest is simple and makes a great filler on a tiered tray. Speaking of minis, this is part of a Crafted by Corey's Minis Challenge that she hosts each month. I love all things mini and baby sides, so I always love seeing what everyone else has created. And if you do too, the link to the playlist and Corey's channel is gonna be linked below. So you can see sneak peeks of other projects going on here. There are a lot of times when I'm crafting, I'm multitasking and working on several projects at a time. So, you know, like stuff is drying over here. Another project is setting over there. Anyway, I am painting these three mini terracotta pots that I got from Dollar Tree with a coat of some orange paint. And I'm only painting the bottom, not the rim. And for the rims, I'm taking some folk art paint in the color Adirondack and just carefully going around the top. For one of the pots, I was wanting to paint horizontal stripes, and to do that, I'm dipping a fine tip paintbrush in the paint and then resting it on this wood circle. I then put the pot up to the paintbrush and twirl the pot around so that the brush stays stationary. And I'm not going for a precise line or anything like that, just kind of wanting the line to be sort of straight though. And once I get that initial line, I go back in and fill in some spots. And then I also paint a second line, right, second line right under the first one. And I'm just using the first line as a guide. Again, I'm not trying to be precise, just kind of making a line all the way around. For the other two pots, I am painting a vertical stripe on one and the last one I am putting dots. Now 
Now around the rim, I'm painting little tiny carrots and I just swipe like a little bit of orange paint and then after that dries, I go back and add some little strokes of green for the carrot top. These turned out so stinking cute and you can fill them with eggs, like these little mini eggs like I did or candies and they look awesome. Oh, so my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and I have a Facebook group called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'd love it if you join. The link is going to be in the description box below. When you do, share a pic of what you're working on and say hello. DIY number three. It's simple and easy and you can make this in less than a half hour. So this piece of chipboard or I mean, I don't know what this is. It's, it's harder than cardboard. But anyway, it's a leftover piece from a picture frame and you know how I'm always saving stuff and this is from another project. Any hoops. I'm painting it Parisian gray. Then I'm taking a square dowel that I cut down to four pieces that fit as a frame around the board and I'm painting them Parisian gray as well. I found these little wood, this little wood bunny piece from the same wood pack as the carrots and I'm painting the bunny white and using folk art paint in the color Adirondack. Adirond See? Oh, now I messed it up. Adirondack. <laughs> Okay, so this next part is just me hot gluing the carrots and the bunny down on the board. To create the frame, I'm putting down a bead of hot glue and attaching one of the pieces of square dowel. And then I press it and I hold it for a few seconds and I do that to all four sides. Y'all, I mean seriously, how cute is this? I think it turned out so cute. And the gray is the perfect neutral background and the colors pop so well, I absolutely love it. Now this egg set came from the Dollar Tree and I'm only needing one, so I'll save the other for another project. I'm painting the back with the same white paint I've been using for the other projects. And I chose not to paint the quote unquote front because it has that thin layer of paper. And lately I've been having trouble with the paint, like warping the paper and causing it to lift. So I just painted the back. For the feet and the beak, I'm using some Dollar Tree hearts. I have seen several creators do this and I thought it was so cute. And I'm painting just one side of two of the hearts and for the third heart, I'm cutting off the rounded edges of the heart and then painting both sides orange. Now to give this chick some more dimension, I'm taking some Parisian gray and painting around the edge of the egg. Alrighty y'all, this part is straight up inspired from Sarah at GGB DIY. Her style is so whimsical and I just love it. And so I thought I'd try and make this chick using some of her techniques and I'm creating eyes in the shape of teardrops and then using a fine tip paintbrush to fill it in with Captain's help of course. I added some green paint so my chick will have green eyes. And then I added some eyelashes. At Hobby Lobby, I found these little sponge like stippling brush things and I'm adding some light pink paint to the, chick, uh, the cheeks of my chick. Say that three times fast. I'm hot gluing down the feet and I was gonna make the nose stick out, but at the last minute I decided not to and just hot glued it flat. Then I took a darker shade of orange and I used a fine tip paintbrush to go around the edges. Again, I'm just trying to add some dimension. Now here's another nod to Sarah from GGB DIY. I'll have a link to her channel below. Anyway, she does this type of painting and it reminds me of when I used to craft like in the 80s and 90s and stuff. And I just love this whimsical style and Sarah does it so well. So just like she does, I'm adding squiggly lines and dots all around the chick.
Now Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs did a chick very similar recently and she used burlap for the hair and I thought it was so adorable and I wanted to try it. And I also added a pink gingham ribbon bow to the top as well. This turned out so freaking cute. I just totally love it. Okay, now the eyes look a little weepy, but I'll have to work on that. But oh gosh, I just love it. And here's another look at all of the projects. I think they turned out awesome. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company and I hope you enjoyed the projects that I created. Don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.